Hello folks, this is Anvil Dude, and welcome back to another episode of my Tinker's Railcraft Let's Play series. Today, we are continuing to work on the scaffolding. Now, as you can see, I have filled in this triangle of uh, the dirt here, leaving the main kind of... Uh, line, I guess, of other dirt down lower so that I can kind of, you know, use it as a guide. I'm working on filling in this second section, and I will be trying to get all three of them all put together. Now, this would be so much easier if I had access to a builder's wand. Sadly, I've not yet run across any... Uh, division sigils in any dungeons yet. I wish I had. Things would be a lot easier. But, alas, it is not to be. I guess that I don't need that to be like that, do I? So, yeah, I will, again, in, uh, oh, what's the word, in cooperation with what has been suggested to me, I am going to cut ahead to when I have finished this, maybe just make it into sort of mumbo-esque project updates as I go as I finish each of these. I'll see you soon. Well, I have used up all of my dirt, and we still have an entire pie wedge left to go, plus a little bit of this guy. I suppose we might as well just start building some of that stuff. But, I think I might leave that until a little bit later. Uh, I want to kind of finish everything up, and maybe try to get get this lit up better, etc, etc, and so forth. Those are 16 up, it looks like, from that. And then out from the center, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. I'm looking at... Oh, I don't have that one on this version. Anyways. Um... Okay, so 26, or 27, yeah, 26. Negative 26 to pink negative 73. So negative 26 to negative 73 is going to be 26 to 73. 50... 43? No. That's four and seven. Forty seven, I believe. Let's call it forty eight, just because we can fuss around with that a little bit. Uh, so that's forty eight and sixteen. Both, I think, can be divided by eight. Forty eight is six divided by eight. So I'm going to need a slope that averages out to 6 over 6 over 2? Yeah, 6 over 2, which would be a 2 thirds slope, or a 1 third slope, rather. Okay, I think I can do that. Right. But, before that, there was oh, there was something that I wanted to do on camera. Um, I think it was magic related. And it was based on what, 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 what was it? Ooh. It's bothering me that I can't think of that. Oh, no, I know what I wanted to do. So, I went out and I explored around, ah, the, uh around various other biomes recently. 
And in doing so, hmm, I stumbled across some really cool things. Uh, for one, I found two, not one, but two desert ruins, desert pyramids, which is fantastic because, and I haven't checked them out yet, I haven't actually plundered them yet, I haven't raided those tombs, but that should allow us to find some nice dungeon loot. And if it's the right kind of dungeon loot, I might be able to find a builder's wand in there, which would be useful, very, very useful. Another useful thing would be if I finally buckled down and made a, uh, what is it, a wand of equal trade. Not chalk, equal trade. Which I don't even have the research notes for yet. Raw magic, tiny terrors, this for that. That and the excavation wand focus would be nice. Along with these guys I need to eventually get. I uh, don't have the required for that, or that, or that, or that, or that, or that. Yes. So yeah. And then eventually get Silverwood, and these things, and those things, and all sorts of things. In Thaumcraft, I've got a bunch of the Golem stuff, and the use would be interesting. Um, need to learn more about Golems, which would be nice. I'd like to get some Iron Golems up, I'd like to get some, uh, maybe Flesh Golems going, or some Wood or Straw Golems going. Straw Golems should be easy enough to do. Uh, need to get those guys etc, etc, and so forth. Uh, but I think... Did I just have my... Yeah, I had my golden stuff in here. Ah, uh, hmm. I wonder what that's in there. Let's take this and put that up there. And then, where did I put my bows? I don't know where I put all of my fancy bows. Oh, great. I remember now. They're up here. Mushroom. Okay. So. So, 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 so. Hmm. Yeah, I might as well show you guys the, uh, the temples. Do a little bit of exploration and plundering. Do I have everything that I'm going to need? I got my pickaxe. I don't need the fancy bricks right now. I might as well put these guys away. Don't need the stone. Cobblestone, though, would be nice to have. So, get a couple stacks of cobblestone. I've got material for torches, if necessary. I've got torches themselves as well, so that should be good. Ah, uh, yeah, I think... I need food. Okay. Um... Did I have anything cooking up down here? I don't think I did. This is... How am I short on food? Like, this shouldn't happen. At all. But also, something that I found while I was out there was a village, and that should be very nice. Right, I don't have Natura, do I? Otherwise I'd be overflowing with berries. Huh, it's kind of fun. So let's check on our... ...farm plot, okay. Whoop. Should not have jumped onto there. Our little tater farm plot. Eventually, we will have all of this stuff automated, which will be fantastic. All via golems. That'll be really nice. Oh, I do have some baked potatoes. Okay. But... Add some charcoal in there, get that burning up. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll come back when I've got this all smelted up to cook. Or cooked up to eat. Alright. We now have food. We've got supplies. 
We're ready to go on our journey. We'll start in the middle of the night because I'm dangerous that way. I like to live life on the edge. And die horribly and amusingly over and over and over. This is going to be really dark up here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Brownstone Road. Yes, you run pretty fast on it. But it also makes you slide all over the place. And I wonder if I can... Wah! Ha ha! Ha! I wonder if that Hecate is still following me. But, you may recall this route that I am taking as the way that we used to always go. I don't want to fight you. You hit very hard and you're mean and run and chase me and stuff. The route that we used to take, and that I still take, I guess, I just haven't taken it on camera for a while, to get get to my saltpeter mine. I'll be able to show that off to you a little bit too, because I've made some changes to it. Yeah, it's definitely saltpeter, because you can use it to make gunpowder. Uh, I've made some changes to it in order to uh, facilitate the mining of it. Oh boy. That's a lot of skeletons. <laughs> Thank you, spider. <laughs> that spider just wrecked that skeleton for me. That's awesome. In any case, uh, actually, if I'm going to be going towards the, uh, yeah, I don't need to go directly over there. I just need to, I don't need to go directly diagonally like I've been. Minor problems, I have no... Ow, 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 I need to eat. I did not realize this, and there's a Hecate coming, coming after me. Uh, Hecate. Dang it! One moment. Alright. Uh, that should be a little bit better, and there's many zombies after me right now. I don't want to fight all these zombies. Or that skeleton, but I might as well fight the skeleton. He's on my way. Oi. See, this is where having things like, you know, fancy wands and Ars Magica spells could be very, very handy. I've still yet to find a proper mana pool for Ars Magica, though. And, like, I've, I've explored a decent amount. At least I think I have. It's an interesting location. But I've not found anything yet. So, and without, like, at least one mana pool to start with, I can't even get the guidebook for Ars Magica. And then, of course, without the guidebook for Ars Magica. Well, it's that much more difficult to do anything else. But yeah, it's... <laughs> uh, there we go. There's one of the jungle temples. There's so many zombies out here right now. Like, jeez. Like, jeez! I should have brought a repair for my... Uh, my rapier. Uh... 
I don't want to fight you, spider. But yeah, here's one of the two. Uh, the other one is further down that away, next to a village, actually. Which means that I now have a source of emeralds that does not include emerald ore. Ooh. Ooh! And me without a thermometer. I did not realize that these had uh, nodes in them. That's pretty cool. I mean, I guess it makes a certain amount of sense, but... Oh, that's neat. That's because it's... No, 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 no. Dang it! No, no, no. No, 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 no. Well, that opened that up. I just don't want it to, uh... Oh, that's cool. I just definitely don't want anything to fall on that. All right, trap disarmed. What in the world? That's bizarre. All right, a couple bones. Yes! Division sigil! Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. Uh, all sorts of armor, which is nice. Um, let's put the pressure plate and the string in there, shall we? And that. Diamond horse armor. Chiseled sandstone, sandstone, and smooth sandstone. Let's put the chiseled stuff away. Let's convert as much of that as we can to the smooth, because we use that. Take this, 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 and this. Iron, bone, and a saddle. Awesome. This was a very nice little one. And we don't need the wool either. Don't need spider eyes right now. I do want the rotten flesh because I can talk to uh, priests in the village and they'll be able to give me emeralds for rotten flesh. Certain amounts, anyways. So let's stick you back there. Alright, I did not know that those had ore nodes. That's good, and that's a big looking ore node, too. So that's really nice. Alright, let's get to the other one, which is... I failed every time when I tried to jump off those lily pads. Which should be in this direction. So I'll be back when we get to it. And there it is. Wasn't very long at all, but I figured I might as well cut out some if I can. But yeah, that is the second desert tomb, desert temple, pyramid, whatever you want to call it. There's also, in the middle of the desert someplace, there is a little oasis, a, uh, a desert well. Oh, geez, there's all sorts of these guys around here. They're all evil-looking, though. I don't know what to think about that. Perhaps it's a sign. Perhaps I am meant to become an evil thaumaturgist. Ordo and Perditio. That's good to know. Aha. And again, put away the chiseled sandstone. It's useful. Thaumium. Ooh, nice. Wow, there's some real nice stuff here. Uh, amber, rotten flesh, tons of bones, red hearts, lots of gold, which is nice. I need gold. I didn't have enough of that. Lots of boots. Like a lot of boots. So once again, let's do this. And that, and more boots for us. Rotten flesh, another thing of bones, and another division sigil. I think I'm going to leave that division sigil down here. I'm going to leave the steel boots down here, because 
Actually, I'm going to sell the steel, or put the two pairs of boots and the extra helmet up here. Because I've got almost a full thing of iron armor. And though I could melt that down into steel, I'm not really that hard up for steel right that right now, so... That's not necessary right at this moment. But yeah, and you can see the village right over here. Now, luckily, I came upon this at night. The village is basically, it's a Venice. It's all full of water canals. Which, luckily, keeps the villagers indoors and keeps the zombies from being able to get at them. Which is really quite useful. Hello. You buy wheat? I don't have any wheat for you. There we go. Get up here. They haven't been able to tend their farm plots. These are some iron ore berry bushes, which are nice. They hurt, though, so... Ha! And why do you have mushrooms growing in your house? And he sells leather boots for an emerald, so he is some sort of a leather smith. I'm going to do something in here. I'm going to put down a crafting bench. In here. And I am... Can you make slabs out of that? You can make sandstone slabs out of smooth sandstone. Nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a pathway that hopefully will not allow mobs to spawn up here, but is still above the water so that they are safe from other mobs. And he sells cooked chicken. Nice, nice. And he is an armorer. He sells chain. Nice. Hey. He must be... Oh! Oh! What? He sells orberry bushes. What? How do you make landmines, though? Okay, that is weird. Ha! So we've got a tinker here. Oh, that's interesting. That's pretty cool, actually. Hello, Monsieur Tinker. And the librarian. He sells bookshelves for emeralds. So far, about the only way that I have to get emeralds, it looks like, is to get some wheat and sell the wheat. Another tinker, it looks like. That I can't get to again. Well then, let's do a bit of farming, shall we? I think that I already took the stuff that was in this place. Oh no, I didn't. There's iron stuff and coal coke and an apple and iron. There's all sorts of iron stuff. Could have sworn there were more iron ingots than that. Nothing in the furnace is interesting. But yeah, whoever lived in these houses I think is already dead. Sadly. I 
also find it kind of weird that there's not a... You know what? Screw this. I don't need all of this cobblestone right now, so I'm just going to compress it down. I find it interesting that in villages they don't have anvils at the blacksmith shop. Like, even the new ones don't. Which just seems a little bit odd to me, you know? Yes, my good sir. And oak barricades and landmines. I really don't know what you need, or where to like get oak bear, or where to get landmines, buddy. I'm not that that sort of guy. You, however, I am going to remove your front front stoop. Hello. Huh? Watch out. Oh, no, 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 don't fall in the water. No. Not good. Like, very not good. Especially considering it's approaching nighttime. Please manage to find a way indoors. Sirs. Like, please. I don't want to be responsible for the death of villagers. You want raw chicken? Aw, oh, man. Why did they go crazy like that? They must have become frightened. Whoa! <laughs> no Hecates! I don't like Hecates. Yes, and you have a crafting bench, okay. And there's a couple of guys in here right now. And again, 20 for one. Come on! There's a way in! Sir? Come on! There. Go! Go! Get indoors! Yeah, go! There we are. Hmm. Those guys seem to be able to run fast enough that the zombies can't get to them. Also, the zombies are apparently all after the Tinker's guy. That's kind of funny. Dang it! I'm gonna have to set this village up much better. And work on protecting it. Etc. Etc. He wants a written book. I've found that those trades don't seem to work properly. I don't know why. Well, in any case, I think here is where we're going to want to wrap up for the night. I will see you next time. Have a good day. No, 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 not, not good, not good. Bye.